Are you ready to make some awesome fudgy brownies with a sweet bonus ingredient? I know I am, so let's get started. Step 1. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and prepare an 8 by 8 inch baking pan. For step 2, grab a medium or large mixing bowl along with a whisk. Then pour in 1 cup of all purpose flour. Next, add a half cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Now it's time for a quarter teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Now that the dry ingredients have all been added, it's time to whisk them all together. Now that they've all been mixed, it's time for step number three. For step number three, you'll need another medium or large mixing bowl. You'll also need an electric or stand mixer to mix all of the ingredients. Start by melting one stick of unsalted butter. If you don't have magical snapping powers like my wife, you can use a standard microwave. Grab your large mixing bowl and pour in one cup of granulated sugar. Next, pour in the melted stick of butter. Next, use your mixer to combine the melted butter and sugar. We used a speed setting between two and four. When the butter and sugar were combined, we added in two large eggs. Make sure the first egg is fully incorporated before adding in the next one. It's finally time to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we always love the natural smell of vanilla. Mix for an additional minute. For step number four, slowly add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. I'm glad my wife did this part because I would have made a huge mess. Once they've been added together, mix until just combined. We set our KitchenAid mixer on a speed setting of four and mix for about two minutes. And when it's properly mixed, it should look like this. The brownie batter is finally ready for the last two bonus ingredients. And these ingredients are really fun. It's one half cup of chocolate chips and one cup of dulce de leche. The dulce de leche is what makes this brownie recipe extra special. You can buy it at pretty much any grocery store in the baking section. Or if you want to make it from scratch, I've made a video that shows how to make it from sweetened condensed milk. But before adding these final two ingredients, add half of the existing brownie batter into the prepared baking pan. After you finish adding in half of the brownie batter, then it's time to add in half of the dulce de leche. As you can see, we're going to be adding it to the baking pan in layers. I added the dulce de leche in spoonfuls and then I leveled it out at the end. Next, we added in the other half of the brownie batter. Same as before, we smoothed it out with the spatula. It was looking great. Then it was finally time to add the remaining dulce de leche. Then at the very end, we sprinkled in the one half cup of chocolate chips. Some people might want to add some of the chocolate chips in one of the middle layers and that's perfectly fine as well. At the very end, we used a spatula to help push some of the chocolate chips down. This helped mix the top layer and it turned out great. And at this point, we were ready to bake. Bake the brownies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes. And while the brownies are baking, it's time for a fun goose fact. Did you know that goslings are able to dive 10 to 20 feet underwater by the time they are one day old? Now that's what I call early swim lessons. And now back to the brownies. When the brownies have baked for 25 to 30 minutes and a toothpick comes out clean, they're ready to be removed from the oven. And in the background we have some custom artwork from one of our sons. Once they're removed from the oven, make sure to let the brownies cool for around 10 minutes. It was hard for us to wait because the brownies smelled amazing. But once they had time to cool, we made sure to cut them into 16 equal pieces. 
When they were finally ready to serve, the brownies looked really neat with the different layers, and you can actually see that in this video. This recipe was at the top of our recent brownie recipes, and it wasn't hard to make. The dulce de leche gives it a sweet chewy texture that we all enjoyed, and it goes well with the chocolate chips. Don't hesitate to try it out. We finished this fun brownie recipe, but now we need something for the cookie lovers. Check out our simple oatmeal chocolate chip cookie recipe. I'll see you there.